check. So when they run, they flip their tails up. They have that way of they're charging now. But when they're hungry, they're all, they'll all get their tails up. And when there's snow on the ground, that starts flying. It's a, it's a cool sight. Um, well, I first found the valley. I moved up to Truckee in 2006, um, and the first place I looked to buy was out in the valley. I came out here and, and fell in love with the place. We think there's a great future for Yaks. We think this valley is well suited for them. Um, they really, they really thrive here. Uh, they do great in the winter. You can keep them year round. Uh, yeah. they're, they're, they're happiest require, in winter. Yeah, don't require a lot of input in the winter. Mm -hmm. So they, they're able to maintain their, their body condition pretty well. Their, their metabolism actually slows down in the winter where they're able to maintain their body condition. And then they, they just thrive on the Sierra Valley grass. Uh, this, this stuff is great for them. As you can see, they, they're, they're, they love it. <laughs> And, and it's outstanding. Um, I mean, it's it's you know like a high-end grass-fed beef. There's no gaminess to it all. Very nutritional. Um, I mean, the, the nutritional value is similar to like a, a skinless chicken breast. Um, high in CLAs, omega threes, higher in protein than beef. And it, I don't know if I said this, but it's not gamey at all. Um, similar to buffalo, but not gamey. It's it's juicy, and it, it I mean it really does. It tastes like beef. So part of what we think is really cool about yaks is you can collect the fiber. So you can see here, this one's got sort of some clumps of down. And in the spring and early summer, we comb each of them to pull off that down. And then that down can be processed and turned into yarn. So it creates a really high-end, very soft textile 